ready mr speaker sir it is a pleasure to speak when you are in the chair first i would like to say that the first budget of this government is indeed something which is being appreciated widely however we are also surprised to note that the stock markets have now gone down for some reason in this connection i would like to point out that from my own experience it has nothing to do with the budget the market goes up and down on its own and there is very little logic to bring both of them together mr speaker sir i would say that this is not the best budget but it may actually create what we most need that is to say it may create more jobs this budget has been presented at such a time when the employment situation is worsening day by day there has been decline in growth of our gross domestic product and there has been slowdown in consumption the uneven monsoon global trade tensions and problems in credit market are some of the issues we are facing now sir i have gone through the economic survey that has been placed before the house it has been mentioned that in the last 5 years the government ensured that the benefits of growth and economic stability had been shared i think it will be possible for us to discuss in detail when the demands for grants come before the house i am happy to note that the allocation for agriculture has been the highest increase in this year's budget in this connection i would like to congratulate the government on keeping up their promise made last year in addition to that i find that the allocation for railways and the devolution of funds to the state governments have also increased considerably i find that the objectives of the government have been spelled out clearly in the budget as a matter of fact as has been rightly pointed out in the budget document economic growth must be on top of the agenda of this new government i am of the considered opinion that only a fast growing economy will generate surplus funds which are necessary to address our social and economic problems i am sure that honorable members are aware that much of the investment comes from public sector enterprises including the railways you may also note that a strong public investment program can be used to promote private investment mr speaker sir we have seen many natural calamities in the last few years throughout the length and breadth of the country either there is a prolonged drought or there is excess rainfall within a short period leading to floods i am of the opinion that the states which face such natural calamities repeatedly every year need special attention from the government of india it is therefore necessary that care should be taken by the union government to develop a special formula for such states from the papers placed on the floor of the house i find that many states which have taken good efforts for reduction of poverty have been particularly affected by natural calamities these frequent floods and cyclones have resulted in loss of life and property as a matter of fact these events have the effect of pulling the states back from their development you may have noted that we need thousands of crores of rupees to restore normalcy after a massive flood and the economy of the state is badly affected in this connection i have a point to make before this house many of the eastern states which have been badly affected are rich in coal mines they are yet to get coal royalty from the central government if these funds are released in time it would be helpful to those states to improve their funding for disaster management before concluding i would like to congratulate the honorable finance minister and the honorable prime minister on a bold and a revolutionary budget it gives me great pleasure to state that every section of the society has been taken care of by this budget if we have to say a few words about the budget it is worthwhile to mention that this budget concentrates on rural india namely the poor and the farmers as you know nothing can stop the growth of our country 
if these sections of society are enriched as early as possible. Sir, with these few words, I conclude my speech.